Welcome back everybody and here we are in beautiful, beautiful St. Augustine, Florida. It is not raining today and I did promise to do a video with y'all outside the truck and yes, y'all just saw my truck and uh, yeah. <sighs> Anyways, let's do a quick little review here on this one. This is the, sorry about that, the Santa Fe uh, boxcar, O scale, true. This is a late 50s, early 60s model kit. Um, again, we ran into the same thing that we had on one of the other cars. Sprung trucks, as you can see, those are moving. These are, looks like scale, scale wheels, O scale. Um, and again, we see the airline right there. Um, and down here. Uh, like I said, I don't know who makes who made these wheels or who made these trucks. Y'all please drop a comment, let me know. And we got roller bearing wheels again. Uh, let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Yes. You see that turning? Scale wheels on that turning. That's that's very nice, very nice, very neat. Um, now this car right here. I'm not going to change anything here at all, um, other than try to get some of this touch-up done that's right here. The paint's kind of flaking. Um, again, this is a brass steel construction. And top needs to be cleaned up, probably reshoot it with a satin black. I don't want to mess with the ends because there's some details there. I am missing the grab rail right here. Not a big deal. We can make another one, glue it in, or solder it in. Uh, this one's got the detail right there. So, very, very happy about this one. There is like some spots of some type. I don't know what those are. I'm going to see if I can clean them gently without removing any of the decals. Um, if not, then what I will do is just leave the natural weathering alone and uh, just let her run all right so there's the Santa Fe and yeah I'm doing a doing two of these today on the mini series as I did yesterday so and here we go we have a Canadian Pacific same type of wheels same couplers, uh, well, about same couplers. I don't even know because this one doesn't have the roller bearing wheels and the couplers. I said, I don't know if these are Atlas, early Atlas. I don't know, but either way, it's not really gonna matter. Sorry about that. Either way, it's not really gonna matter. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Canadian Pacific, but. I did kind of lie when I said I probably won't do anything with Canadian National or Canadian Pacific, and yet here we go, we have this car. Um, there's some roughness right there. I don't really know what that is. Maybe it'll clean up a little bit. I don't know. Um, most I'll do with these, you know, these cars right here from the last video and this video is probably to reshoot some Tuscan uh, mask off right here try to stay away from the graphics so they don't get damaged and as you can see the end has actually been repainted at some point as well as back here and the top has been repainted the top is actually a different shade of Tuscan for the sides so it's definitely been repainted you can also see it well I feel like y'all can see this right there so you can definitely tell there's been some touch up repaints on these at least on this one uh which i'm okay with uh this one's kind of floppy it looks like they put the spacers in the wrong spot because it's not well maybe i don't know we'll have to see Both cars do have details underneath. Uh, this one, the uh, Canadian Pacific, is actually 
missing some, so that's not a big deal. You're not really going to see it. Uh, this one has also had something a little different right here. Yes, forgive the noises. I'm actually here at the TA truck stop in St. Augustine, Florida. Um, may I rebuild the bolster? Yeah, the bolster is completely missing on this side on both of them. Uh, you can see where they were there. That's the reason why it is actually kind of wobbly, as you can see right there. Not a big deal. We can fix that. That'll stiffen everything back up. Uh, right here on the Santa Fe. Got a few little details. Like I said, again, there, there's those wheels that I just... Roller bearing right there. Well, that's kind of, that's a really neat touch. I'll be honest with you. I mean, the flanges aren't that deep, so I'm hope I don't know if these are two rail. Are originally two rail or what? Maybe, but we'll find out. See how they run on Atlas track. Uh, I'm not a like I said. I don't like tubular track, and I've said that multiple times. But we're going to get these fixed. Not a big deal to make those the bolster supports. So. Try to see if I can see what details are missing. And see if I can't require it. So, there's the Santa Fe, and yeah, I got a truck behind me to start. And Canadian Pacific. So always people, give me a like and subscribe. Give, uh, like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And uh, if not. Drop a comment, let me know. If y'all got some comments and y'all know something I don't, please let me know, because I'd like to learn a little bit more about this particular, especially these sprung trucks. I'd like to know a little bit more about those. As always, people, keep the shiny side up and rubber down. I will see you on the road.